Hunt Showdown's tide of desolation has been pretty awesome. Thought I'd hate it, but the fog is kinda sick. Although it hasn't been my friend. But before we get into that, here's a quick list of things I like with this update. Weapon inspections? Cool. Flare pistols igniting down hunters? Cool. Orange glow while carrying bounty? Cool. Free hunters no longer available after you get $20,000 in the bank? Cool. Free hunters coming with traits? Cool. Grounded pack is cool, cause Shadow Leap and Last Gasp. XP changes? Cool. True shot packs? Awesome. I I kill with my heart. Yes. <laughs> Did not kill with my Springfield. Like that. Oh, you got him. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, good heart kill. And high velo on the Senten? Cool, but that's a whole other video. Here's what's not cool. The fog isn't my friend. At least early on it wasn't. At the start of the event, I died. A lot. Like, a lot. Mainly cause times like this. See, I heard the gunshots. I knew the people were there, and pretty close. But I guess I'm either blind, or the fog was getting the better of me, or whatever. I DK, I totally missed this dude running across the field, then my dumb ass actually walks into them and gets destroyed. <laughs> Eventually, I did drop down to three stars and a low one at that, but I did make it back up to five, and the last match in this video is from that. The thing I want to admit, though, is that uh, my time with the commoners, with the middle class, if you will, was some of my favorite times in recently playing Hunt Showdown. I mean, it was awesome. And with the event kicking off during the holidays, I was meeting all kinds of new people. In these lobbies, people either don't know how to get around the map quietly or just plain don't give a shit about nothing. They are running past dog kennels, shooting loud, playing with all sorts of loadouts, and the VoIP convos are top tier. On TikTok, when you're just scrolling TikTok and then like some some wonderful American woman decided to show her breasts on TikTok out of the you're kindness of her heart. Yeah, you appreciate that? I appreciate that, yeah. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. That's a public that's a public service. Yeah, you gotta appreciate the arts, you know? Oh, he had a real shotgun. And slugs. Hit him. Hell yeah! Last game I had an idiot. <laughs> I know this dude right here is probably not happy about that. <laughs> I think that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> you guys, uh, you guys pretty new to this or what? Uh, within the last two weeks. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, cool, cool. I saw y'all's stats and I was like, maybe I was playing with some Smurfers, huh? Let's see if this guy gets sniped, huh? Jesus. What what'd you see? That guy hanging there? Okay, you alright? Okay, buddy. Oh shit. Oh good God. Oh, red. Okay. There's people here. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm I'm aware now. Holy fuck, nice. Thank you. Get on the boat. Jesus Christ. Am I gonna survive? You'll learn, young grasshopper. Oh, hey, there's people. You have any idea who you're sh dealing with? You and your friends are dead. Hear me? I'll kill all y'all. <laughs> he has marks. I'm marks, marks, man. Well, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> I hit one. Oh, 
Wow, we're both on fire. Uh, ex excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. Oh, ow, oh you fucking why? Why? Dude, why? Literally. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh shit. Hey, about the concertina thing. We're so cool, I love you. On a serious note, I found myself at a fork in the road. I could do the basic Hunt Showdown YouTuber thing, create a loadout, call it some new meta, and then, uh, you know, name it some clickbaity shit, and massacre all these new players. Then put a highlight reel together of all the clips, call it good, and hide behind the facade of being a S-tier player, which I'm not. Or I could welcome these new players and be a personal Sherpa like this. So you guys got, have you guys done the event stuff yet? Like with the perks and all that? Yeah, this is that uh, dude's first game over there. I think is what I saw in the text. So yeah, come, come this way. I'll show you some stuff. Uh, this guy's too, uh, MMR2, so be careful. I mean, you, you play your game, all right? You play your game. Have a good time. Do you know if MMR restarts every year or just the same? No, your MMR uh, fluctuates depending on like how well you're doing. That's all. Hey, don't, don't you even, don't you even feel like you need to validate those two stars, okay? You fucking, you be proud of those two stars. Well, let's, let's help them get some, uh, get some MMR in this game, alright? I will play. make no guarantees. There's one. Usually I'm all for taking the lazy route, but I felt like the right thing to do, you know, my civic duty as an unofficial ambassador for Hunt Showdown was to, you know, be the Sherpa. That was the right thing to do. Also, I figured if we're going to keep these new players playing this game, you know, this was a good start. And I guess maybe it was the holiday season, spirit, or some shit, I don't know. But I do know that my style is founded in a bunch of palavering and then telling you all a half-wit story. To do this, I had to find balance. I couldn't just go in with a meta loadout paired with my map and game knowledge that it'd be too easy. So I decided to run a Spectre with Dragon's Breath and my new favorite pistol, the True Shot with FMJ. See, with Dragon's Breath, you can light someone up from pretty far away now. Doesn't do a lot of damage, it's really annoying, and slows the enemy's aggression so my new white shirt buddies can finish them off. In exchange, I have a lot of fun and some laughs. He's on fire. <laughs> All the pings, bro. He's on fire. He's on fire again. <laughs> but yet again, I found myself conflicted because while being a Sherpa, a guardian angel, if you will, uh, seems like a noble gesture. It also means that I'm absolutely memeing on other teams of new players by setting them on fire over and over and over again. Yeah, fuck it, you can't win them all. Anyways, here's my favorite match from playing with three MMRs, where an unlikely teammate pops the frick off. Then we'll wrap it up with a match of four and five star MMRs using the same loadout, to be honest. I found that I was a little outclassed, but I fell in love with the true shot. This right. match was probably my best session. Two players, both three stars, one seemingly brand new, and one with a bit more time, but obviously still learning. I couldn't ask for a better squad. I could tell this was gonna be a good one. This is gonna be a good one. I feel it. Feel it in my loins. Honestly, I was being a little cynical. Okay. I thought with the random shooting and whatnot, we were surely gonna get ambushed and die immediately. Oh man. <laughs> Dude, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. I believe, I believe. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but you know, just gonna go with it. What I didn't think would happen was one of these oh. two players having a great game. Someone over here, you say? Yeah, I kind of felt like that was gonna happen to that person. Spoiler alert, Someone's it wasn't that person. guy. See, this fellow was running through the what map shooting doing? everything. Eventually, they ran into Lock Bay and right. met an untimely Shoot. end. Capital but my person. teammate over here, in the initial here skirmish, the dropped three back to back to back. 
Oh shit. I'm gonna take advantage of this. I dropped one. I killed one over here. Nice. Good job, dude. Yeah, I assisted a little bit, but that was my goal. No shot. The fog started to settle in. A team tried to rotate around to get us from the field, but it didn't work out the way they thought. Oh, beautiful. You know, I think she hit them as they were throwing a concertina bomb. I'm not really sure, but I'm counting that one as a half kill. Not good. I guess through the fence wasn't a smart idea. Now in a five-star lobby, I'll admit, I'm probably not surviving that, and they're getting me through the fence. If you're familiar with Hunt Showdown, you know fights usually slow down, just like this one did. So my teammate went for the res. Oh, I'm gonna try to help. I think they're going for the big balls res. Nice. Back to full strength. It was now 3v. Where? Oh. Uh. Okay, never mind. That was short lived. We decided to rotate to the field where the other team was. I think they were trying to get a res, so we had to try and stop it. Oh, I'm out. I didn't want to be stuck behind a tree, but I am. That's good. You don't have to worry about that other guy. Once again, the fight slowed, and my teammate put down not one, but two ammo boxes. What a blessing. They were shooting at me from the house, too. Oh, my dude. Thank you. Oh, what's up? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. We move back into the compound to see about the remaining teams. Oh, that wasn't a headshot. Right here somewhere. In case you lost count, that's four and a half kills for them. They are literally carrying me, and I love to see it. Pretty fun fight. She gone. Let's see where these guys are at. Okay. Looks like they're still here. Wait, one's running. They're running. I'm gonna see if I can get something off of this person real quick and then go get them. And then go get them. Oh, they're not running. I lied. Unfortunately, the bounty team ran like fearless warriors. You know, they're a lot like jellyfish, spineless. But luckily, and for some reason, one of the enemy oh, players missing. remained. got them yeah they're they're super long gone now ggs though that was an awesome fight so i eventually made my way back up to the four and five star mmrs where i usually play at 
and I brought the same loadout because why not? It's fun. You could tell by the vibes, you know, as the young kids say that these dudes were seasoned vets. Ended up getting a Java Orange Juice Factory, which was pretty sweet, but they canned me. They said I couldn't concentrate. Can you believe that shit? Can I, can I just ask, like, do you just have these off the top of your head or is it like a little notepad yeah. next to you or? No, I know them. It's my routine. Mm. <laughs> what do you get when you cross a joke with a rhetorical question? Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's the answer, dude. The cops came to my house last night. They said my dogs were chasing people on bikes. It's kind of weird because my dogs don't even own bikes. <laughs> we got a bird right, that's fucking funny. Incoming, boys. Tell them the jokes. They might leave. This thing's chasing me? Yeah, it is. Anyways, after all the bro time indoors, we decided to push out. We can go out this way. There's a party by the bridge. Keep going. Nice, nice, nice. Just one more. Yeah. There's a by the bridge that... I didn't think he could see me. Yes, I died. It happens. Honestly, there was a little re-familiarization that I needed, you know, to get my sweaty feet back under me. Fortunately, my team res me real quick so I could get back in the fight. Okay, yeah, get me back in this. All right, you're good, you're good. Thank you, brother. Yep, yep. What are randoms for? We rotated around to the shore just south of the bridge. I didn't think this was a good idea, but I really didn't want to be alone. Oh, never mind. Now it's gone. I had to toast him first. Oh, he's got a friend there, so watch out. Watch out. Only got one low here. Oh, shit. At this point, I'm feeling like I'm on an island and surrounded, which honestly is not a great feeling. Nice. Big time res. Thanks, mate. Much appreciated. And then this happens. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You know, there's really nothing better than being shot at by invisible enemies. I wanted to see if I could res my dude, so I yucked a concertina between him and the shooter to get some cover. Oh shit. <sighs> Woo! I didn't expect to one shot that dude, but I did, so I guess good job me. I made my way over to my down teammate for a successful res, and just then started to get shot at from the roof of Ironworks. Was that all of them? Nope. nope. No, it was not. On roof, on Shot of a lifetime coming up. Oh, never mind, I lied. Remember when I mentioned I was a little outclassed? Well, I was. Kind of. The True Packs is awesome, and I love it. But would I rather have a rifle? Yes. Can the True Packs hold its own? One. Guess we'll find out. Okay, let me just kill the roof. Yeah, with you. We'll get somebody on my right. There's one over there in the water. If anyone was on his right, they ran back the other way. Besides, the folks on the roof were really annoying, so we had to get rid of them. No shot of a lifetime on that one. I was determined to get these guys off the roof, but the dumb dumb ammo was slowing me up. I would have to heal, 
and while I wanted to focus on the players he was calling out, I was blinded by rage and really just wanted to get these roof dwellers at all cost. There was one near here, so be careful. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really nice. Got that dude off the roof. Oh, nice. I hit him before. I need some ammo so bad. Oh, there's one more. I don't think this guy can measure up against two rifles on him. But he can if one of them is mine Guns and it's this. empty. I'm out. Oh shit. That dude's shooting from way far off. I had to run around, reload, and rotate a bit. Oh shoot. You see this? This is how close I was to sitting out the rest of this firefight. Them little bridge trolls almost ruined it all for me. He's close. I know he's got bleed ammo. I don't like that. After taking out that nuisance, I decided to push into ironworks. Oh shit. Let me fast forward to this part. The guy we're chasing is the last remaining enemy player. A lone survivor, if you will. And he was annoying. Great at rotating and getting shots, but annoying. I say that because this happens. I think it's just the one guy, man. We're trying to hunt down one dude. Thankfully, my teammate with all the jokes knew how to use trees to his advantage and like everyone in Hunt Showdown but me, hit his shots with these duallys. <gasps> my dude! Yes! Hey there, buddy. Hell yeah, outdoors. dude. I was so nervous, man. Oh my God. I was about to hit upload on this video, but I thought before I do that, I should send you all a little personal message. For all you new players out there, and I guess for all the like two and three star players, this game is not something you jump right into. It's a steep learning curve. Not as steep as other games, but still pretty steep. And it's brutal. You go back to the lobby when you die most times. It, it's a part of the game. It's actually an awesome part of the game. But what I want to say is that we've all been there before, okay? And if you only marginally improve, or you don't improve at all, but you enjoy playing this game and you have a good time, or even if you have some friends you just love to get on here and jam with, that's awesome, all right? That's a good thing. Keep doing it. To all you gamers out there who don't care about getting around the map quietly, you're gonna play loud and proud. You're gonna play off metal loadouts. I love it. All right, keep doing it. I'll tell you what, man, it made the game so much more fun. It's a play style. I'm good with it. The, the biggest difference to me when I get to five and six star lobbies is I feel like I'm only getting hit with Mosin Spitzer. When I go into three star lobbies, it's a variety of things. It made it so much more fun. I guess I say all that to say this. Have fun. Be yourself. Do your thing. Enjoy the game. All right. Enjoy the game and the time you have in it. And, uh, you know, I if I run across you in the in the swamps, if you will, you know, say hey. Never ever quit, I just kept on pursuing. Never ever quit, I just kept on pursuing. Never ever quit, I just kept on pursuing. Kept, kept on pursuing. Kept, kept on pursuing.